something that has been difficult for me in the past few years, and it's difficult for me as a, a Christian, it's difficult for me as a person that does YouTube videos, I have brothers and sisters on both sides of the Mandela effect. I love each of you. I've never been a person to say, if you don't see the Mandela effect changes, you know, you're blind, you're going to hell, you're right. People get severe about it. None of us can question God and whose eyes he opens. I have a problem as well that I didn't read the Bible until about five years ago. I didn't read the Bible growing up. I knew of certain scriptures. I've heard them here or there. I tried reading the Bible in my life. I gave up because it was hard. Since knowing and walking with Jesus Christ in my own way, the Bible has become much easier to read and it makes so much more sense. None of us are Bible scholars. We don't get saved by how many times we've read the Bible or how well we know Scripture. Scripture is there to help encourage us. Encourage us. It's there to tell us the truth about how the world was formed and who we are. Many, many useful, insightful things, no matter the Mandela effect. I see people going, the Bible has been totally changed and it's perverted now, so throw it out, you can't read it. I don't believe in that. And then there's people that say, nope, the Mandela effect could never happen. There's a lot of scripture that makes me go, I think things have been changed in the Bible. But once more, it's heavy duty. It's the Bible we're talking about. I've learned so much from it. It's very valuable and useful. I'm never going to throw it out. But I know the secular Mandela effects. I used to have a huge playlist on my old channel that got deleted by ScrewTube. <laughs> I was one of the people, and I talked about it in videos, and I read online in the old um, whatever form, Mandela form online, that I was a person that saw Fruit Loops like that, and like that, within a week. My mom was here with me, I showed, it, I showed her that, and it made her scratch her head. It was one of those, I think my mom's going to know the Mandela effect now, but she didn't, because she's like most people in our families, they don't think something this supernatural can happen. And in the end of the Bible, it talks about not sealing up this book for things to happen, right? Like, I hate that we're divided on this, brothers and sisters. I know that Andrew Zimmerman now became Andrew Zimmer. Gordon Ramsay, the, a, the E changed to an A. Those Bernstein Bears, I realized the Bernstein Bears, the Bernstein Bears, the Bernstein Bears changed and I noticed Flat Earth within like the same moment, the same day, the same week. I, at first, I thought maybe I had died and I was in some kind of limbo because, again, I didn't know Scripture. I didn't know God. I didn't know what happened. It was very traumatic. It gave me like, you know, post-traumatic stress syndrome where I was like, I had to investigate things. I look back on that time and while it was confusing because... None of us have had reality change on us before. It's a big deal. And trying to tell people about it and they don't believe us. So once more, I am someone who's seen the secular Mandela effects. I've seen many of them. It's weird. It's helped me grow stronger in my faith in Jesus because supernatural things, I'm like, well, God's real. He can do things like that or allow the enemy to do things like that in these last days. So, you know, the enemy changing the Bible, be a, being a famine of God's word, not sealing up the book until the end. I know I'm not getting all my scripture right, but you know what I mean, my brothers and sisters that know scripture and know Jesus Christ. The Mandela effect is, has always been weird. You can get lost in it and go down the rabbit hole and not find Jesus, which concerns me. Many of the Mandela Effect channels, may, I haven't looked for a long time, so maybe it's different, but many of the channels were very new age. They were like Christ consciousness nonsense. I don't get that stuff. It's, de it's deception. And I know some people don't get me, and you know I talk about Jesus Christ too often or something, but it's the meaning of life to have faith in him. The Mandela Effect and Flat Earth and more and Satanic Hollywood and more made me realize that these are the last days the Holy Spirit is working within the body of Christ to open eyes and to get us ready to go home and to be watchmen on the wall to go, hey world, you may think we're kind of crazy. You may not agree with all of us all the time, but this is serious. 
Not all of us have this figured out. I don't think any of us do, only God. Brothers and sisters, thank you always for listening to me. Like I said in the last video, I'm learning as I go every single day. I want to point you towards Jesus Christ and a relationship with him because he's the way, the truth, the life. Not any of us. We're trying, right, brothers and sisters? We're trying, but there's wolves in sheep's clothing. The Mandela effect is hard and crazy to figure out. Flat Earth is still a divisive thing in the, in the Christian community. We don't all agree on everything, but let's try. Let's keep trying harder because that finish line is, is just up ahead. Hey, and that's what's important. If we love Jesus, if we have faith in him truly, 100%, no falling away for us, we are saved. We have a seat in heaven with our Lord. We're going to an amazing feast pretty soon to see lost loved ones, to be met up in the air with everyone. New heaven, new earth, new glorified bodies. So many things. It's unbelievable, but it's real because God is good. All the time, all the time, God is good. Amen.